Mandy and I welcome you back to The Chosen's Blended Harmony of the Gospel. We are on day nine, part one, the Sermon on the Mount. I love this one. The Sermon on the Mount. When he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you who are hungry now, because you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, because you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you, insult you, and slander your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Take note, your reward is great in heaven, for this is the way their ancestors used to treat the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your comfort. Woe to you who are now full, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all people speak well of you, for this is the way their ancestors used to treat the false prophets. Salt and Light You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt should lose its taste, how can it be made salty? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lampstand, and it gives light for all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Don't think that I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, Not the smallest letter or one stroke of a letter will pass away from the law until all things are accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commands and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. I just love the Sermon on the Mount. Let's go back to some of my favorite ones. I really love, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. And blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And I really like those two because it's like so often people think, Oh, Jesus was going to come as a mighty king and a warrior. And people these days want a leader that's strong and just bulls everybody else over. But Jesus says, No, there's another way. You know, if you are just poor in spirit, if you are just broken, it's okay because the kingdom of heaven is yours. And then I also love, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And I tell myself that all the time when I'm crying and upset about something and really sad about something. I'm just like, you know what? Jesus says, it's blessed when you have these times because you're going to be comforted. And I would just rather be comforted, not with chocolate, although chocolate is pretty comforting, or food or another person or a hug or family or whatever, but to be comforted by Jesus. I mean, he just gives peace as only he can give. He doesn't give peace like the world gives. I mean, he just gives you true peace and true comfort. And he gave us the Holy Spirit too, which is our comforter. So I'm really glad to know that he sees our tears and he's willing to comfort us. I also love, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy, and blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Because again, showing mercy to people, that's not really a cool thing, right? Everybody wants you just to be strong, and if somebody does something wrong or they're lagging behind, then you just let them be behind, right? But he's saying, no, show mercy to other people. And what mercy really is, is not getting what we deserve, right? And we all deserve the wrath of God because we have sinned. And he's just like, no, you know, just we need to be merciful to other people because God has been merciful to us. And when we show mercy to other people, he's saying, you are blessed. 
I also love blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Because not a lot of people try to keep the peace, right? There's some people who just really like to stir it up all the time instead of just trying to be peaceful. So it's important in our families, in our jobs, in our churches especially, and everywhere we are, that we try to be the peacemakers and help people see eye to eye and just try to keep peace going for everybody. And I also love, blessed are those who are hungry because you will be filled, and blessed are you who weep because you will laugh. And that's just really great that, you know, if we're hungry, that we're going to be filled. There's a lot of starving people in the world. And so it's good for them to know that this is not all it is, this world right here. There is way more to it. And that in the end, in heaven, you're going to be filled. And then blessed are you who weep now because you will laugh. And I'm sure that's comforting to all of us because there's all times that we have been weeping. I know last year was a hard year for me and I cried a lot, but he is promising that joy will be coming in the morning, right? And even if the tears last this whole earth and you just have a really, really hard life, which I know some of you out there do, just know that eventually when we die, we're going to be in heaven and he's going to wipe away every tear. There will be no more tears. And that is just a great promise to me. And then it's kind of the opposite for the evil people, right? Read this. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your comfort. Woe to you who are full, you will be hungry. So what that's telling me is that, you know, it's okay that I don't have a lot of money on this earth because I don't. I really don't. And so it's just nice to know that, you know, the rich people, they're enjoying their fun now. But we are going to have riches in heaven that are beyond anything on this earth. And then he goes on to talk about salt and light. And I love this part. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt should lose its taste, how can it be made salty again? He's saying it's not good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled. And then again, you are the light of the world. A city sitting on a hill cannot be hidden. So I love with both of those examples, salt and light, that that's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be the salt of the earth and going out and adding flavor to people, right? And salt also helps preserve. And so those are all really good qualities that we need to be sharing with others. And then also the light. You don't take a candle and then just put it under a bowl, right? You know that that song we used to sing, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine? Well, we don't want to be putting our light under a bushel and hiding the same thing. We want to go out and tell people about Jesus. When you're out, do you kind of like, put your light under, like you're like, don't really want to talk about Jesus. Are you like, hey, Jesus is my best friend. I want you to get to know him too. We don't need to do it in an annoying fashion, right? But in a very conversational way, you can just let people know or just simply invite them to church or have them watch The Chosen or have them read along with you with these, um, the Blended Harmony or the other devotion books. There's lots of ways to let your light shine in a very nice and friendly way. So I hope today that you can remember that you are blessed even if you are poor and hungry and sad. Jesus has promised to flip those all around. And also remember that you are the light of the world and also the salt of the earth and that we need to be out there shining our light everywhere we go. So shine brightly today, my friends, and come back tomorrow for some more of the Harmony of the Gospels. You can get your own copy of A Blended Harmony of the Gospels by The Chosen simply by going to thechosengifts.com. There you can find all kinds of wonderful merchandise to help build your faith this year. Be sure to check out their devotionals and their Bible studies. Have a blessed day.